Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use a function called len, which is short for length, to determine how many characters are in a cell. So how many letters, numbers, or combination of them. And this can be really useful for validating things that you've entered and you may just want to know how many are in there. So it could be useful for if you're entering stock items and you need to have the characters of a particular length and that way you would know whether it's entered incorrectly or not. So this could be used for like credit card information and if it was showing anything other than 16 numbers then something would be wrong. So I've got a little spreadsheet in front of me here. These are just items like camera, tripod and that with an item code next to it. Each one of them should have five characters in it which you can see here C1234 and I've deliberately entered one that doesn't have one in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this function, it's called a length or len, and I'm just going to click, I'm gonna go into my formulas and it comes under text, so I'm gonna choose that. I could also just do the insert function here. I'm gonna go into text and you can see it right there, it says len. And I'm just going to click on that which cell am I interested in? It's this one here in B2, which has got the item code. And you can instantly see it comes up here saying that there's five. That's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna click on OK. I'm going to then copy that down by dragging the right hand corner on the uh, autofill. And you'll see this one here says six. So something's wrong there. And there are ways that I could highlight that so that I know that, that is incorrect. So one way I could do it is to use the if uh, function. I'm just gonna put that into this column here. That comes under logical, but just so that I can use the insert function, I'm going to click there, and I could then either search for it by typing in if and pressing go, and there it is, it comes up right at the top. Otherwise it would be under logical here, or I could go into all and look through that. But let's just take that if statement. And if you haven't used it before, the logical test is I want to see if B5, there, that one here, not B5, C2 is equal to five. If it's true, then I'm gonna have it come up saying that it's correct. And if it's wrong, it's going to come up as re-enter. And you can see that it's already coming up here showing me that it's correct. So I'm gonna click on OK. Again, I'm going to copy it down using the fill. And you can see this one here says re-enter. If I fix this by changing one of the digits, obviously they could still type it incorrectly because it doesn't know what the code should be, but at least I know that it's correct to some extent. Let me just change that back to incorrect because the other thing you could use is conditional formatting. And I've got um, some tutorials on that and the links are below this video as is the one for the if function as well. So the way it works, I highlight it and thankfully all, this all works the same on a Mac as well. And if I go into home, I've got conditional formatting right here. I am going to use the new rule. I'm just gonna click on that. I'm going to use a formula to determine this. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna say equals, and I'm just gonna choose the first one, C2 is not equal to, so not equal is using the less than and greater than together, five. I'm gonna format it so that the background comes up like that and I'm going to choose the font. I'm gonna have that white and I'm also gonna make it bold just to make it really stand out. So if I click on OK and OK again, you can see it's now highlighting that I instantly can see here that it's incorrect. So these are, if I change it, it turns it back to just being normal. So as you can see, it's very useful for being able to check what you have in here and you could use it for any of these. So if I wanted to, I could use length on that and it would include the spaces as well. So you can see what's going on there. So you've got that, then you've got 
two ways you can actually highlight it. One is using the if statements and or if function and the other one is using conditional formatting. As I said, both of them have got the links below. If you want to see more, then please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, go to my website, jargonfreehelp.com. Thanks for watching and see you soon.